Hey guys, so today we're making some barbacoa in the slow cooker. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So today I, I decided to make another Mexican dish because y'all know I like making Mexican food. So I have some ancho chilies and some guajillo chilies and I am just going to take the seeds out of these so that we can start to um, boil them on the stove to get them nice and soft for our sauce for the barbacoa and um, you want to make sure that um, if you have gloves to use gloves and to make sure that you wash your hands after handling these spicy uh, chilies because look you don't want your face or whatever fingers burning from you know the seeds from the peppers and so I'm just gonna put the peppers in a pot along with one tomato and then I boiled it on the stove for about 25 minutes just until it was nice and soft and so now I'm going to add it to my blender along with that uh, tomato and then we're going to add in our spices and you guys this is um, the flavor of this is kind of like a smoky spicy flavor kind of like barbecue um, and so I added about a cup of the liquid that we boiled the chilies in. I'm going to add in some cumin, some cloves, um, some allspice, some chicken bouillon, some bay leaves. Uh, and then I'm going to put in some chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. I added about three of those. And then I have some onion and some fresh garlic. And I'm going to add all of this to my blender. I'm going to also... Um, put the measurements in the description box below and um, you also want to add in some um, some apple cider vinegar to this and so I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of that as well along with some Mexican oregano and this is pretty simple I think the hardest part about uh, this recipe is you know just making the the sauce and so what I've noticed in a lot of Mexican cuisine, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of it you have to use the chilies. And so it's a matter of getting the chilies soft if, if they're dry and then, you know, making your sauce so that you can prep it for your meat. And so um, I this recipe was inspired by Views on the Road and it is a Mexican channel that I follow on YouTube. So I'll be sure to link their channel in the description box below. Uh, but she uh, added in some lard so I have some lard and she said to cook the sauce because she said you want to get as much of the moisture or like you don't want your sauce as liquidy because this is barbacoa and it's supposed to be kind of like a barbecue type of situation and she said this is barbacoa not birria <laughs> so we make a barbacoa not birria so I don't want the sauce to be runny if that makes sense so i put some lard in a pot and i'm gonna cook the chili sauce and then we are going to add that to our meat so that we can cook it in the slow cooker so i am just gonna season my meat and i don't care what seasonings you use just make sure your food is not bland okay so i'm using some adobo seasoning some onion powder some garlic powder I'm gonna keep it super simple because we do have seasoning in our chili sauce and we wanna make sure that we're not making it too salty because <laughs> we're trying to watch our sodium, okay? Um, and so I'm gonna mix all of that together. I'm using some beef chuck roast for this recipe. Um, after you get your meat nice and seasoned, you're gonna add your chili sauce to that and you're gonna mix it all together. So I wanna say my beef was about maybe two two and a half pounds I did not use all of the chili sauce that I made so I only used like half of it and I put the rest in the freezer so I can you know make this again <laughs> and so um, I'm making this in my crock pot so I'm putting some cabbage leaves at the bottom um, and this was a, su a suggestion from the channel I watched again views on the road she said if you have avocado leaf that's what you would typically use to my understanding but if you don't have that you can use cabbage leaves and so I'm just going to place my beef on top of that. And um, I'm going to cook this on low. I set it to 8 hours, but then I ended up cooking it for about 10 hours or so. And my crock pot, 
I had to end up buying a new crock pot after this. But it, it wasn't cooking my food the way I needed it to. So I ended up having to put this in the oven. But you want to cook it in your crock pot for about 10 hours or so, depending on how much meat you have. And so after that was done, I took it out and I'm just shredding up the meat and it's gonna look just like this nice and juicy nice and flavorful this has some really good flavor y'all um and i'm making mine with some tacos so i just put some fresh cilantro and some uh yellow onion on top and then i have some limes and that's it you guys this is the finished product you can make it as tacos you can use it for burritos or however you want i hope you guys enjoy this recipe Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.